So if you think of a frame text as being container text for your uh, body copy, uh, and multiple paragraphs, etc. Um, think of artistic text as being for more stylistic headings and titles. So we can add a, for example, a title to this uh, design by going to artistic text tool. And then if we just come along and if we just hover over, you see this uh, frame text here. We've got snapping switched on at the top. And when we hover over um, the left hand edge of the frame text, you'll see this guide, a dynamic guide appearing. And I can drag just outwards like that and then add some artistic text to that. That's a bit large at the moment, so I obviously want to change the font. So just a double click to get the font there. And we're going to choose a font called uh, DIN Condensed. And we'll make it round about 80 points. There we are. Now I can change the, uh, the uh, attributes here. Um, I can change to an underline. In this case, this DIN content is only available as a bold font, but for other fonts, I'll be able to choose um, a light or an italic, etc. Um, so with this artistic text, I can uh, scale it. So from the top corner, I can scale outwards. And you can see I've actually just aligned to the right hand side of that justified frame text. I can also scale in the other direction too, if you want to make it slightly smaller. Um, but I'm quite happy with the, um, the way it's presented at the moment. So we can colour the uh, artistic text just from the uh, colour panel. So I can choose a, kind of like a, a nice bluey colour there. I can also apply fills to it. So if I just go to the fill tool, and just select across it, you can see we can add some uh, more characteristic uh, and more attractive coloration to it. If you want to take things further, you can also uh, select the artistic text, use the effects panel and apply various effects to the, um, to the text itself. You get quite a nice uh, bit of depth there to the text. 